Let's look at the Ordered Options class. At a high level, Ordered Options objects are just hashes with methods that make it a little prettier to access the data stored in the hash. Looking at the comments at the top of the file, we see the normal way we'd assign to and retrieve values from a standard hash. Ordered Options hashes let us do this a little differently by calling what look like methods defined on the hash. As you might guess, we can make these method calls due to the method missing method that makes up the heart of the ordered options class. Let's walk through an example call to the class. Let's say we want to assign something to the foo key. We'd first create a new ordered options object and store it in h. Then we'd call h.foo equals bar. Since the object doesn't have this method, and none of its parents do either, will end up in the body of method missing. In method missing's body, we check to see if the method that was called ends in an equal sign. Since it does, we'll set that value in the hash using the method name we matched as the key. Dollar $1 is a global that's always set to the value of the last regular expression you matched. If we'd called h.foo without the equals, we would have just looked up the value stored at the key of foo. Notice that we don't need to call toSim on the method name because the bracket methods have both been redefined to do this. Now let's take a look at how this class is used in Rails. I'm going to open up Active Records Rail Tie. If you're not familiar with Rail Ties, they're basically a place where gems that work with the Rails framework perform the setup they need. All the standard Rails gems have their own rail ties, and if you wanted to create a Rails extension that does some sort of work during or after Rails boot up, you'd create another rail tie of your own. So here in Active Records rail tie, you can see that the first thing the gem does is to create an ordered options instance for Active Records options and store it in config. Now let's look at an application RB file from a Rails app. See how we're assigning to config.activerecord.observers? Well, config.activerecord is just an ordered options object that's going to hold the various configuration options we want to set for active record. If we weren't using an ordered options object, this call would need to look like this. It's not a huge difference, but I'd argue that the readability isn't quite as good. In particular, there's no good reason why users of this API should know that config.activerecord is backed by a hash. Back in the orderedoptions.rb file, there's one other interesting thing worth looking at. This file also defines inheritable options as a subclass to ordered options. This class takes an optional parent when you initialize it and will look up values it doesn't find in itself in this parent. This lets you create a chain of ordered options hashes that will search from a child all the way up through the chain of parents. This functionality is accomplished by the calls to super you see in the initialize method. Quickly, recall that passing a block to hash.new tells it what you want to do when a key is accessed that's not found in the hash. Inheritable options makes use of this fact by passing a block to its constructor that looks up values in its parent. Now you'll notice that the method checks to see if its parent is a kind of ordered options object. If so, it calls this underscore get method. This method actually got stored away up on line 21. As the comment notes, Looking up via this method is faster than the redefined bracket method. So, if the parent passed to the inheritable options initializer is an ordered options instance, we'll use this method that we've put aside and the calls will be speedier. This is a good place to mention a little Ruby idiom that you'll see a lot in the Rails codebase and in other gems. Methods or variables that start with an underscore are usually for internal use only. They aren't meant to be accessed by end users through an API. The fact that the, that the underscore get method is prefixed with an underscore is a strong hint that it is being set aside just for use within this class.